So Cindy, do you have any questions about Google Drive in general? I do. I've used Google Docs from early on um, and then Drive. And I, I have two accounts because the school district just started using it last spring. And um, I, what I notice now that there's Drive is that I end up with five different tabs open um, <laughs> and going back and forth from Drive to a document or Drive to a form. That seems to be the part I didn't quite figure out at first, and I am, I'm actually the um, technology learning cadre person in my building, so I'm helping other people with this. Just imagine they're having the same kinds of issues as well. <laughs> Do you have any helpful hints on how to manage going you know, back and forth in different documents and different parts of the drive? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, let me just start my screen share again. I have a specific kind of workflow that I use. Um, so up here at the top, you can see I've got a, a tab open, but it's very mm -hmm. small, and it just shows my drive. Mm -hmm. That's what's called a pinned tab. So what you can do is, I have um, I have four standard pin tabs that I use. Uh, the first one is my Gmail. So to pin a tab, you just open a new tab in your browser, right click on the tab itself, and pin it. And that ends up making it a small tab over here on the left that you can't close by accident. Um, to mm -hmm. close the tab, you actually need to right click it and unpin it. Uh, Phyllis, really can you can you zoom in on that a little bit because it's hard to see. It is tiny, but <laughs> yeah. Um, unfortunately, I, I can't. I can zoom in on the browser window itself, but I can't actually oh. zoom in on the tabs. Okay. Um, so no, there's there's not really any way of zooming in on the tabs themselves. So what you can do is you can open a new tab, and I I always tab I. Uh, I pin Gmail, I pin Drive, I pin Calendar, and because I use Google Plus for a lot of things, um, I pin Google Plus. But if you're if you're a frequent uh, Google Classroom user, mm -hmm. you can actually open up Google Classroom, and then you can pin that tab up at the top. So that will pin those tabs up there for you. Um, and that'll keep them open and handy for you. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing 